the seasoned comedian and regular on Mock the Week says she is on a mission during the series, to show that women can be just as playful and witty on screen as their male counterparts. She feels comedy is sadly still skewed towards guys in terms of opportunity and visibility. So Ellie, 38, who plays Fio Sassy Collins in the hit comedy series Ted Lasso, Inset, wants to teach her three-year-old daughter Valentina that ladies can deliver punchlines while achieving a perfect top line. Ellie, from Brentwood, Essex, said, You want to see more women on TV being funny so little girls can know it's okay to be a woman, and funny, and silly. Wally you don't have to be prim and proper, you can be a Wally. Ellie, who has performed five stand-up shows since starting out in 2011, is aware of the scrutiny the comedy industry has come under in the wake of hashtag MeToo. Many female comics have spoken out recently, claiming stand-up is a lagging behind when it comes to gender equality. Despite the influence of game-changing geniuses such as Dame Victoria Wood and French and Saunders, Ellie feels Terry's more work to be done. She said, We stand on the shoulders of the generations who made the headway and had a much tougher time. And there are a few more opportunities now. But I still think it's probably more skewed towards skies. In any case, Ellie, who's married to London-based CNN journalist Phil Black, is finding plenty of new comedy material while training with South African hoofer Johannes Rodebe. She said, We tried to practice cha-cha-cha arms in the mirror the other day and we had to abandon it as it was just too funny. Her only gripe with the pro, 35 is he looks too fabulous, even after hours of dancing. I look like I've been found in a hedge, Ellie joked. He will leave training looking like a king and me, a sweaty abomination. For movie week tonight the pair will dance a cha-cha-cha, and Ellie's arms are not the only body parts playing a key role. She said, there are a lot of bum movements going on. So I'm trying to engage with that when my hips really are mostly just used to carry a toddler. Last week the duo were awarded just 23 out of 40, but Tally remains sanguine about it, adding, I think it's a good lesson for my daughter, you don't necessarily have to be the best at everything, you just have to try your best. Strictly Come Dancing 6.30 p.m., BBC One.